What up, it's Casper. Today's video, I'm talking about the movie, The Equalizer. The Equalizer is a 2014 film. It's rated R and it's two hours and 12 minutes. Directed by Antoine Fuqua. Really, really glad that I was able to catch this rewatch and get back in tune on the first Equalizer movie. Really cool to see where it came from. Being able to see the third one to see where it actually ended. Very insane ride. That is one of those things that you do not mind going back onto. Definitely gave me the vibe of kind of like reading a book. It gave me the sense where you had to go back because you just wanted to understand and feel the whole atmosphere of this movie. You know, the action scenes in this movie is already standing out as it is. Denzel is absolutely awesome. The movie vibe just gave me like, oh, there's small things that if you miss even in the beginning later in the movie you're just gonna be like oh i have to go back and watch it from the beginning in a book you just want to go back to the last couple pages and just regroup and recatch up on things you might have have missed even on the smallest detail so in this movie we got denzel aka robert mccall very insane that he took the approach of faking his own death to literally live a quiet life basically live a retired life this dude always shows up to the same diner because he's just trying to enjoy himself he gets out of this retirement life because he ends up meeting a character in this movie who is a prostitute and is basically being used and abused and robert mccall being robert McCall call it really takes a lot for him to really care and really want to get out of this so in this movie you see that those moments especially with the prostitute that fueled him to get out of this retirement life like i said in the book is really cool because it has a good step-by-step -step and good play-by-play -play scenarios you understand where he's gonna be at and you understand why he's in that direction of being back to his assassin self. So that's what the movie is about. Robert McCall goes full assassin mode in this movie. Antoine Fuqua, especially this movie being the first one, I really like his camera direction and sense of just really choosing really cool effects and really choosing really cool angles to make Denzel stand out. Close up shots with Denzel that he's obviously back with his OCD and back with his straight focus assassin self, literally thinking five steps ahead of every bad guy in this movie these mafia people in this movie really think that they could just attack denzel in this movie but denzel being denzel is ahead of the whole scenario and you can see with the flow of this movie he doesn't really want to put out this assassin vibe but he doesn't like bad people at all so really like how antoine fuqua chose really cool angles even with this being the first one he tried his best and he really did succeed on making this movie very on the edge of your seats grab people's attention even for other people who've never heard or saw this movie the special effect edits in this movie were really cool you just wanted to know more about Denzel's character Robert McCall. Really good placement on telling the environment Robert McCall lives in. He works at a Home Depot AK Lowe's type of job. Knowing the camera angles from that environment you can see he's just trying to enjoy himself and then whenever he's in his alone time personal space at his apartment you can see that he's in his head. He's reminiscing. That's his time to really regroup and not letting outside noise affect him. When Denzel is attacking these mafia people and associating with these people on literally about to kill them camera direction really shows that emphasis side of how denzel is somebody you don't want to mess with at all it made me laugh and it made me chuckle at times because antoine fuqua literally set up denzel to be like denzel's in the building give props to both of them literally both amazing in this movie and there's a lot of funny scenarios for me especially at the end scene the final battle so many camera moments where you're like Denzel wasn't a lazy camera direction, like good placement to even show the personal relationships Denzel had with everybody in this movie to see that he's a really good guy, good person character traits that, you know, you wouldn't mind always opening up to and getting advice from. Talking about Denzel, what can I say about Denzel? Just another awesome movie. Denzel really did a good job on showing like, hey, let's not make this guy dull. You can see that he had a crazy past. The OCD in this movie to see it from the beginning, just another applaud for from me because one of those small details that you notice like oh man this dude actually pays attention to his whole environment he's not slacking at all awesome job in his acting role on just putting this vibe out very phenomenal for me obviously Denzel looked a lot younger in this first equalizer but I really appreciated how mature straightforward his acting was you're gonna appreciate when he associates with the prostitute in this movie played by Chloe Grace Moretz she plays the character Terry you can see that she's hiding stuff Denzel 
Denzel is already catching it already. The lines for Denzel just made it seem like this dude is not a pushy dude. He cares about people who is literally going through it. The screen time for both of them, it wasn't one of those things where you went back to both of them and like, oh, they're forcing them two to shine with each other. Connection between both of them really seemed really authentic and really seemed like a caring one as well. From Terry's side, you could see that this guy that she doesn't know but knows that he's always at that coffee slash diner restaurant you can see from her character that he is good vibes. So the interaction between Terry and Robert McCall is a great growing one. Terry in general, the character, very sad that she's going through that. Really good presentation on showing that that's a grimy lifestyle and it's very sad that they have to deal with this. Let's go back to the action scenes real quick with Denzel. The action scenes were actually very insane because it was Denzel being super smart with his environment without cheating it. He didn't really use any guns in this movie till the final scene where he's actually shooting something. Did at times hold the gun up, but just for intimidation, straight face, nothing's gonna ever make him crack. Denzel puts you in one of those positions. What is he gonna do next? How is he gonna handle this scenario? Dope, I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised how that even happened. Phenomenal job on the action scenes, especially in this first equalizer. So one thing I did like, especially in this movie, is the mafia people. I think all the mafia persona, all what they did, the lines for each one was actually a very strong one. I think the writing for them was actually well done, worked on, especially the bosses in here. The look was very strong for all of them. And you could see that with each actor involved with the mafia, with their look and their lines, they all had a certain level. And it didn't seem like somebody was trying to be above anybody with the acting. Good personality traits with the mafia people. You can tell who's in charge. You I do like the character Ralphie, who was working to become a security guard. I I do like his role, I do like his lines, and I do like his personality in this movie. You really like how Denzel was really looking out for somebody like that. So Ralphie played by Johnny Scortese. That was a really good heart-to-heart -heart connection. Teddy played by Martin Kosokas. He seemed like he was definitely out of this world. Definitely not from the US and definitely somewhere that he deals with nothing but power. So the presentation, the costume design, especially for everybody was well done. A very strong performance, especially him trying trying to figure out who's the one killing all these people on his side. Really good acting job for him. Masters played by David Harbour. I do like his role, it, it did fit. The camera direction and the lines for him set Denzel to shine especially like knowing that Denzel is gonna intimidate this dude. Really good job on being really intimidated and pissed off that Denzel's character is literally handling and destroying all the people on the mafia side. I've enjoyed his performance. Really cool to see Susan in here, played by Melissa Leo. Cool that that connection between Susan and Robert McCall, you can see that as years of friendship. Overall, this movie has really good direction, cool script, another movie where you feel like you can add a little bit more on personality personality traits, but overall flow is a great flow. Definitely had to pay attention from the beginning, especially with Denzel's character and then the other characters he's trying to help out. You kind of want to understand what world Robert McCall is living in. I really like the environment and I really like a lot of the places this movie took us. Like I said in the beginning, it is like a book, so you understand why Denzel is going to this coffee shop slash diner. You really like how a lot of these small low-key places is where a lot of the mafia people is handling their business. So environment wise, this movie is going to take you on a really cool ride and with the music score in the back. Really cool to hear where it started from because the guy responsible for the soundtrack came on board for this first equalizer and then end up going on board for the second one. If you watch those two back to back, you can see that the, that same vibe is still there. Shout out to the guy who was actually working on the music score in this first equalizer. I, I honestly don't know his name. Really cool flow with the movie and I really enjoyed it as well. Watch these equalizer movies. They're a good time and they're awesome. Denzel is just somebody you can always watch in an acting role didn't shy away on making the second and third one just as dope the first one is freaking awesome so after my watch watching the movie the equalizer out of 10 i'm gonna have to give the movie a 10 out of 10 so that's my movie review for the movie the equalizer shout out to you guys for tuning into the video thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one peace y'all